Hi, my name is Dave Molsinski with Sly Incorporated. In this video clip, I'll demonstrate to you setup and operation of Sly's differential pressure module for on-demand cleaning when used with our MP404 sequential dust collector timers. This information is supplemental to our previous basic timer programming video, also available on YouTube, called Programming Sly's MP404 Control Timer. Now the basic function of a pressure module is to limit the compressed air pulse cleaning to only when sufficient dust is accumulating on the filter bags. Called on-demand cleaning, the pressure module saves you money by limiting your compressed air usage, extending the life of your filter bags, your diaphragms, and your solenoid valves. The module also improves your bag house's efficiency by maintaining a consistent dust kick on the filter bags or cartridges. This is what a pressure module looks like, and it may have been supplied with your original timer. If not, one can be purchased directly from Sly for easy plug-in to any of Sly's MP404 series timers. We also offer kits with the needed tubing and fittings for field installation. A complete timer package with enclosure and everything you need for installation for any pulse cleaning bag house is also available. Now, installation of the pressure module is quite simple. The MP404 timer is ready to accept the pressure module without modification. Make sure your power is off and simply align the contact pins and connecting tabs and snap the module into place. Once in place, the timer will automatically recognize the pressure module and make its features available on the display. We'll talk about those features in a moment. If you have a Sly unit, your dust collector was likely supplied with pressure tap couplings on both the dirty and clean air plenums and may already have a differential gauge connected to them. If this is the case, you'll need to add branch T connections to your tubing to continue using both your differential pressure gauge for easy visual reading while using the pressure module for on-demand cleaning. Whether a slide dust collector or any other brand, we carry the parts needed to upgrade any pulse type dust collector. Once the plumbing is connected, you just need to remove the continuous cleaning jumper wire. Before programming, we recommend you reset the timer's factory default settings by simultaneously pressing the up and down setup buttons for 10 seconds. The timer will display a countdown. Once the default settings are restored, the timer will be in process or run mode and display the current differential pressure of the unit. Adding the pressure module activates four additional programmable settings on the timer board. These are the high and low limit and high and low alarm set points. To sequence through these different options, press the select button. The first option is last output, and this allows you to select the number of outputs the timer will be using. This MP timer has six outputs, but they are also available in 10, 22, and additional slave boards can be added to increase the total outputs to 255. The optimal set points will vary on each system depending on a variety of factors, including the type of dust collector, type of media being used, dust loading, and air to cloth ratios. In order to realize the advantage of a pressure module, you need to set the high limit high enough so that the unit is not cleaning continuously. The next settings are the high and low alarms. Your MP404 timer comes with a 4 to 20 milliamp output for remote monitoring on a PLC and or connection to alarms of different types. When connected to a horn or other device, the high alarm will let you know when your filters are no longer cleaning down to your initial desired pressure levels. This may indicate that it's time to replace your bags, or the cleaning system is not functioning properly. Now before you change out your filter bags, you may want to increase your on time and shorten your off time to increase the pulsing duration and frequency to see if you can get a little more life out of your filters. However, at this point, you should probably go ahead and order a replacement set of filters for your change out just in case you're nearing the end of your filter's life. Remember to reset your desired initial settings before you put in the new bags. The low arm, on the other hand, will alert you when the pressure differential is too low, and this can be an indication that the timer is malfunctioning, overcleaning, or possibly some blockage in the ductwork could be causing a reduction in air volume. The pressing select button again allows you to program the time off, and this is the time in between pulses. Factory default is 10 seconds, but can be adjusted up or down from 1 to 255 seconds. Next is time on. This is the actual duration of your pulse. Factory default is 100 milliseconds, or one-tenth of a second, but can be adjusted up or down from 10 to 610 milliseconds. Now the new settings, which are made available by the addition of the pressure module, are the high and low limits, which tell the timer when to start and stop pulsing. 
It is important to optimize these set points when using on-demand cleaning, and Sly recommends only a 1-inch differential pressure between the high and the low limits, but you may need to adjust where this 1-inch differential is located on the scale. Factory default is set to 5 inches for high and 3 inches for low. However, we recommend starting with 5 inches for high and 4 inches for low. But your dust collector range may be a little higher or a little lower as in 3 to 4 or 5 to 6 depending on several variables. This high limit set point will trigger the pulsing when dust cake builds up and the differential pressure reaches 5 inches. The timer will continue cleaning row by row until the pressure drop is reduced to 4 inches of water gauge. The factory alarm settings are 6 inches for high and 1 inch for low. However, we recommend initial settings of 7 inches for the high alarm and 2 inches for the low if starting with our 5 inch high and 4 inch low limit recommendations. The next option, cycle delay, is not used with the pressure module. This is used during continuous cleaning operations to set a pause after each series of rows has been pulsed. Downtime cycle is used to continue cleaning for a determined period of time after you shut down the fan to your dust collector. You can do this if additional cleaning is needing before, needed before you begin your next run, but it's typically not used when on-demand cleaning is active. And also additional wiring is required for this operation. Now, for more information on these non-pressure module settings, please see our video, Programming Sly's MP404 Control Timer, Basic Setup. Now you may find this final option quite useful. Auto Alarm Reset will turn off your high and low alarms automatically after a selected number of seconds. Setting this will prevent you from having to open up your enclosure and do a reset. But be sure to set this time long enough so that someone will see or hear your alarms. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about Sly's MP404 timers and optional pressure modules. If you'd like more information or a quote, please call us at 800-334-2957 or visit us on the web at slyinc.com.